Hi, so what I have here on this USB drive is Clonezilla. Now, the good thing about Clonezilla is I'm going to be able to load the Clonezilla right into RAM. And the reason why that's advantageous is because on this laptop, I only have one USB hard drive input. So I can't put both this thumb drive and also this uh, Easy Store Western Digital hard drive in there at the same time. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to load this into memory and Clonezilla gives me the option to do that. And then I'm going to swap this out with the hard drive. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I'm going to plug this in to my only USB input and then I'm going to power up and I'm going to zoom in here to this particular screen. So this is powering up. And as it powers up, um, you could see on, let me zoom in here. So it gives me a couple of choices. So on the second choice, so first it says VGA 800 by 600, or this is VGA 800 by 600 to RAM. So that's the one I want to choose. And then there's other ones that says to RAM. So what I'm going to do is I am going to choose the second choice. I'm going to hit enter. And now it's going to load the OS from that thumb drive onto the basically RAM. So it's going to create a RAM disk. So that's what it's doing, creating a RAM disk, loading the entire Clonezilla into memory. And then it's going to prompt me later on to swap out that thumb drive with this USB hard drive. So this actually is pretty quick. It's only going to take probably a couple more seconds. You can see right there. Um, 200 megs loaded into memory and now it's the normal prompt screens so this is basically asking me to choose what language those are all the supported languages I'm just going to choose English the default this is the keyboard layout I'm going to choose English here and it's going to ask me do I want to start Clonezilla I'm going to hit enter now this is where it asked me for the choices. So I'm going to do something that's very basic, device to image, meaning that's disk to an image disk, I mean to an image file. So this is a, a hard drive or SSD drive to an image file. The second one is device to device, direct, uh, remote. So I'm not going to do the remote. I'm just going to keep it very basic, just um, hard drive, physical disk to an image file. That's the first choice. Now it's going to ask me for local device, and I am loading it onto a USB hard drive, which is a local device right on this laptop. And the other ones are SSH server, Samba server, so all of these are remote network devices. And I'm just going to choose the first one. So in the bottom here, it prompts me. So this is when it's basically telling me to get ready to swap out the drives. So I'm going to hit enter here. And when I hit enter here, on the top of the screen, it's going to tell me all the devices that were loaded. So you'll notice this is where it asks me, uh, I could insert a storage device. I could insert the storage device right now, um, swap it out, and then while I'm ready, after I'm ready, I could hit control C. So that's what I'm going to do, you know, pull this thumb drive out and put this USB uh, Western Digital Easy Store. So this is my Easy Store 3, three terabyte drive. Just going to plug this in. Um, hopefully, yep, it is this way. Plug it in. And at the top here, it's going to refresh periodically. So I'm just going to wait for it to detect my hard drive. And there it is. It detected it. And you can see now there's a second choice for Easy Store, and it says once it's detected, I could hit Control C to continue. So it did detect my USB hard drive here. So I'm gonna hit Control C to continue. And it's gonna prompt me for a bunch of other choices now. Uh, so now, uh, zooming in onto the screen again. Um, it, it's going to ask me to mount all of the partitions. So, so this is asking me for the device, the target device that I want to write to. So that's the bottom one, the SDA1, which is my Easy Store uh, Western Digital. So I'm going to choose this one. Hit enter. And does it want to do a disk check? I say no, no disk check. 
And now, um, so this is my USB hard drive. So those are all the directories that are there. Um, I did have a directory that says disk images. Um, I'm just going to highlight that and then I'm going to hit uh, done. So at the bottom here, it says, uh, you know, hit enter. So I'm going to hit enter. And then it says beginner mode. So I'm going to do beginner mode here. Beginner mode. And I'm going to save the entire disk. So it's basically asking me, do I want to do, you know, a save disk, a save partition, or restore? It's actually save disk. I want to do the entire disk. And now it's um, basically which, what, what do I want to name it as? So I'm going to say win 11 dash MSI disk image. And then hit enter. So that's the name of the device. And it says here, uh, which disk do I want to choose? Choose the local disk as the source. And that is the disk that I want to choose as the source. And then it says here, do, do I want to choose the compression? So I'm just going to choose the default. And then do, do I want to skip the checking? Yep, I'm just going to skip the checking. And then, yes, uh, check, check the disk image. And this is the encryption. I'm going to choose the default, no encryption. And that it's going to uh, just let me choose after it's done what choice. So do I want to reboot or power off? I'll say, you know, choice. And at the bottom there, now it prompts me. So I'm just going to say, OK. So basically now it's just prompting me to continue or not. So I'm just going to say yes. It basically, it lists the entire disk and all of the partitions that are there. So I just uh, did a once over. I'm going to say yes here. So, so it'll give you an estimated time. Now, you did see there are like five partitions there. So let me just zoom in here. Zoom in. So you can see what it's actually doing. So this is the biggest partition. And notice it's copying 13, 14 gigs per minute. So that's pretty fast. And it'll be done in four minutes. So that's the entire size of the drive. That's... Um, you know, half a terabyte. It's a 512 hard drive. So I'm just going to pause here and let it do its thing. So it's almost done now. It's at 92%, 93% with uh, 17 seconds left. So it took about five minutes. This is high transfer rate at uh, basically 12 gigs per minute. So it's basically done now. And then it's going to move on to the next partition here. So I believe this is actually the last partition. So, so now it's actually just um, doing the checking. And let me zoom out here so you can see everything. So this is for all practical purposes. It's really done now. What it's going to do is it's actually just going to prompt me for a choice of shutting down or rebooting after this. So that's what it's going to do next. And right here, it is telling me it's it's going to take um, you know a minute to actually do the any of the checking. So the checking is almost complete here. So I'm going to zoom out. It's only about ten seconds left here. So 
nine seconds, eight seconds, so it's at 95%. Notice how fast it was. Uh, basically, this whole checking really just took three minutes. And it says here, successfully cloned. And basically now, it's um, checking basically the last partition. Okay, so it's going to be done soon here. So it's really the checking that takes a while. Uh, it's actually, it takes longer than the actual disk image itself. So if you want to skip the disk checking sometimes, uh, though that's probably not a wise decision. So right there, uh, basically says um, it's done. So I'm just going to hit enter. And now it's going to give me a choice. Do I want to power off? And I'm just going to choose power off here. Try to <laughs> that 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 didn't come out well. All right, there it is. So it says to power off there. I'm gonna move up, power off, and then it starts powering off. Basically, there's the countdown, and everything's done. So there you go. Um, I will have a link at the bottom to Clonezilla, and you could download it there and then install it on your own thumb drive and you should be all set to go. All right, thank you so much for watching, and have a great day.